Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Philly626 here. I want to give a review really quick on P my P90X and Insanity workout uh, journey so far. Um, as you should know, I'm doing P90X and Insanity at the same time. Most people do, uh, you know, 30 days of P90X and then finish the rest, the last 60 with Insanity. I started day one doing Insanity and P90X. Uh, if you're interested in that, you have both. Go ahead and look up P90X slash Insanity Hybrid Workout Schedule. They have it on Team Beachbody. Um, but my, my biggest thing, I want, the reason I want to make this video uh, was for a couple reasons. One, for those who are trying to lose weight from the military. Those who are trying to get in shape. So before they get in the military. Those who are in the military and they want to, you know, up, up, uh, upgrade that PFT. Um, and finally, those who can't really afford P90X or Insanity. I'm going to start with that one first and foremost because I'm pretty much going to talk about that the whole time. Um, if you can't afford P90X or Insanity, I highly recommend, you know, find someone who's got it. Um, more than likely, one of your friends or parents, friends, you know, have tried it out. And a lot of people go ahead and give up on any workout program they start because they're not even serious about it. Uh, so go ahead and you know s sniff around, see if what you can find. Uh, the library might, 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 might have a copy. Um, I'm not sure video stores do. I haven't really look looked for in uh, video stores, but I know they have workout DVDs. You know, so if you're at a, an at-home person, you don't really have money or time to go to a gym. It's more convenient for you. So go ahead and work out at home. There's no no shame in that. A lot of people give me stuff about it. Uh, my recruiter gave me some stuff about it. He's like, oh, you just want convenience at home. I was like, no, I don't want to waste 20 miles of gas to come see you every day to work out. Um, so, yeah. You know, do it. And I'm getting better results working on my own. I'm doing this P90X and Insanity workout. Uh, I can't encourage pirating on YouTube um, because the guys at Team Beachbody work hard for that money yada 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 even though that crap is I'm not gonna lie it's overpriced I know for Insanity I watched an infomercial yesterday it was randomly on TV Insanity is a $500 value I was like 500 who's gonna spend $500 on 12 workout DVDs the, a workout DVD is usually 5 to $15 at the most for like one or two, sometimes three if you get a good package. But um, yeah, I I say do what you gotta do, but do it legally. Um, so once you have P90X and Insanity, first and foremost, you need to know that you know the the, the stuff on the, the picture before and after pictures on commercials are different from from the results you're gonna get. If you don't buy their supplements and buy their equipment and you know their recovery formulas, I'm doing it completely without any recovery formula, without Shakeology, and well, I'm getting results. They're not as dramatic and uh, you know as quick and eye popping as they would be if I were taking Shakeology protein, uh, you know whatever they put in their stuff. Um, but the program does definitely work. The key to the program, um, and the reason I, the only, the only reason you'll see negative comments about the program or any workout program is everyone's like, within the first two weeks, hey, I'm not really losing any weight. I only lost four, like two, two or three pounds. And you gotta tell yourself, hello, you're not gonna lose that much in the first two weeks. Also, you need to ask yourself, you know, working out, I always stress it, I always stress it in pretty much all my videos about losing weight because it's the biggest, the biggest factor. You can work out all day, but if you're going to go get a cheeseburger afterwards from McDonald's, you know, what's the point? I'm saying, uh, cheeseburgers are bad for you. You know, there's my cheat days, uh, I had one cheat day in January, and I went and got a cheeseburger. Uh, I got two cheeseburgers. I went all out, man. I was 
I was craving McDonald's so bad while I was dieting, especially on a low carb diet. I went and had two cheeseburgers and I had some uh, girlfriends with nuggets. Anyway, I, uh, what happens is while you need a cheat day, let me just do a little side thing about that. Why you need a cheat day? A lot of people say you know never cheat your body. You know you should never cheat your body from a workout. But when it comes to nutrition, uh, I'm not saying cheat like terribly, but your body needs some bad carbs. Your bad your body needs. Uh, I can't explain the science to you. I can talk off of personal experience. For example, uh, I was working out from two. Uh, I went down from two thirty to like 224 in two weeks. The third week I was stuck at 222. Could not get under 222 for anything. Uh, finally I had that cheat day. Went to McDonald's, ate all that food. Shout out to 228. That's the bad news. The good news is by the end of the week I was 220, uh, 220 and a half. So your body needs the bad carbs to go ahead and it gives you a certain energy. It burn, helps your body burn off certain things better. Uh, so you don't want to completely deprive, but at the same time you don't want to be going to Dairy Queen and you know Portillo's getting that chocolate cake shake that is so good. But um, you know, do what you got to do. Also, uh, next, uh, besides expecting speedy results and you know quick results without supplements, before you take any supplements, always do your research. If you're trying to lose your weight, I recommend. Uh, if you're gonna, if you want to do protein to build lean muscle, that's how I was doing for. I did it for like three days, um, but at the same time, as soon as I stopped taking the protein, my weight started going down again. So I don't really recommend protein. I, uh, but your body does need protein, so go ahead and eat things like peanut butter, uh, eggs, chicken, lean meats. That will give you natural protein without the shake. Uh, creatine, stay away from it. Creatine adds water weight, and that's the opposite of what you want. Um, for a while, I was looking into taking water pills. They're pretty, uh, uh, I, I really don't recommend any diet type of diet pill or water pill. Um, you want to stay away from it as much as possible. Uh, but what I do take now, I wasn't taking any vitamins or anything. I take B12, 500 NCG, whatever that stands for. I'm not a doctor. Uh, but it, it helped a lot. I burned, uh, four pounds. I was looking at 220, got to 216 when I started taking it. This one today. Little, little pill. Um, it just boosts your metabolism. That's all B12 does. But when it comes to like water pills, diet pills, I'm going to let you know right now, the diet pills that work, I've seen expensive diet pills work, but if you're going to go on a cheap end, I know Xenadrin is like one that's 15 to $20 depending on where you go. Um, that's pretty much a, a caffeine pill, just giving your body caffeine. You're, at, you're better off just drinking like a, a five hour energy or, or drinking coffee. Again, which you don't want to do with the five hour energy or monster. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. Everything's going great. I'm on day 56. I'm really excited about that. I've been excited to take another picture for day 60 because I've seen everyone, you'll know, take 30, 60, 90 pictures. Uh, so I'll be taking that picture and in my final 30 days when I hit day 90 I'll take that last picture make a little uh, you know video that there's thousands out there will be my personal before and after I don't care if you really don't like it or you think it's oh what are you doing so everyone does it I don't really care it's me personal I accomplished this uh, for example when I started I could I could I could do only so many push-ups now I'm doing one-handed push-ups. I can't do a lot, but you know I, I I'm, up, I'm up to three one-handed push-ups on each arm right now. So it's a huge compliment. Pull-ups I'm getting a lot stronger at. I went uh I used to struggle when I used to go to the recruiters because I have a pull bar at home and it's completely different from the recruiters. So when I go to the recruiters, they have a real one, and it, I just lift my body up with so much ease. It didn't even my first uh, four pull-ups don't even feel like pull-ups. Uh, my my heart rate actually goes up because I'm excited and like wow I'm doing this. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a great program. If you don't have it, you can't afford it, you can't find it. Uh, my advice to you would be you know uh, look up the schedule they have for P90X and uh, Insanity. Look at the type of workouts, what they're working out each day. 
If you have a gym membership, that's awesome for you. Um, for example, one day is chest and back. The next day will be like just arms, just uh, shoulders, biceps, triceps. And you know, just, you can follow that schedule, mimic. You don't have to do the exact same workouts, but like look at what they're working out in that in P90X and Insanity, and mimic that in your own routine. Um, highest thing: the burn fat, gain lean muscle, or burn fat and gain bulky muscle is muscle confusion. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they'll go to the gym and they'll run that treadmill for like, you know, hours at a time. And, you know, eventually they get exhausted and frustrated because they don't see many results. Or you'll see the results really slow. What happens is, when you're first starting, uh, any routine, a running routine, uh, cycling, swimming, um, even, bench, even weightlifting, your body uh, will peak and it'll go up. And then, uh, you know, like you're increasing, you're increasing, and all of a sudden, it'll slow down and you get used to the workout you're doing, and you'll plateau, and then you won't get any better for a long time. Until, but what you want to do, you know, is work yourself hard, work yourself hard for weeks and weeks and weeks, and then as soon as your body get used to it, you feel your body starting to get, the workout starting to get easy, you want to upgrade. Go ahead and increase your weight, increase your the length of time, increase the speed, whatever you got to do. Um, that's literally the best way. Muscle confusion and cardio and resistance. Natural, uh, like Lance Armstrong uh, workout, he doesn't uh, start people off lifting weights. You, you use your natural body weight to lift things. Now, if your natural body weight might be too heavy for you. You, know, you find assistance, like for pull-ups. Find someone to like hold your legs. Find a chair to lift yourself up. Uh, if you can't do that, if you can't do push-ups, do push-ups on your knees. If you're having trouble doing it on your knees, so like just go halfway, just go as low as you can go until you can build yourself into a regular push-up. Don't be discouraged. Don't listen to other people saying, oh, dude, I know you can do more than that. Do what you know you can do uh, physically. Push yourself, but don't push yourself too hard. I made that statement last night. All right, that's about it. That's a pretty long-ass video. Uh, Fully 66. I'm out. Rah.